Welcome to She Loves to Cook. I'm your host, the one and only, the Cooking Queen. And today we are making some fall off the bone chicken that we're going to turn into manwich. So this is going to be manwich with chicken. What I have right here is a pot. And I'm using some sea salt. The sea salt is from my local uh, HEB grocery store. And I'm just putting some sea salt in here so that I can get the blood out of my chicken. And this is cold water that I'm using. You can use hot water if you have hot water handy. And after I clean, I take all the skin off of the chicken and I take as much fat as I possibly can off the chicken because this chicken is going to be fall off the bone chicken and you don't want to have to pick around fat or anything like that. So I take everything off the chicken. So these are thighs. And so the first thing I would do is just rip the skin off the thighs. The skin used to be my favorite part of the chicken, but it is the most unhealthy part of a piece of, piece of chicken. Um, and I'm just getting all the fat off. And these thighs are pretty, a nice, great size to fry, but we're not going to fry them. We are going to cook them on the stove. We just make sure, we want to make sure we get all the fat and all the skin off the chicken. Then we're going to let it sit in this pot right here for about five minutes while it gets clean from the salt water and then we'll start our cooking. Alright, so the chicken has soaked for about five minutes. What I'm going to do is rinse it off. And in this same strainer, well, actually, in the same pot that I'm taking it out of is the pot that we are going to cook it in. All right, all clean. All right, so in this pot, I have my chicken. And what I'm going to do is use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to glaze it. This does a couple of things. Okay, of course it has the flavor, it keeps it from burning, and it makes it slippery so that when we go to add our ingredients, it's easy to add. The next thing that I'm going to add are my seasonings. Now the seasonings that I'm going to use is going to be ground ginger, and these are going to be mostly spices because um, the man which has its own flavor. I'm going to be using garlic pepper. Of course, I'm going to be using my everything seasoning. So go to the website and get your bag of everything seasoning if you have not done so already. Oregano. These are just spices, herbs, and sweet basil. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Now what we're going to do is add about a cup of water. We're not going to add butter like you would normally do when you're baking because we have the olive oil. We have our cup of water. We're going to add our onions and our peppers if we have some on hand. And then we're going to cover it and let it cook. Okay, now you guys know that I cut and freeze my onions. So I am going to take some onions out of my bag. Actually, I'm going to use just all of these frozen onions. Put them in here on top. And then... My glass top will go on top 
of this. I'll let this cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, stirring it maybe about every 10 to 15 minutes. This is going to be fall off the bone. All we have to do is take the bone out, which it'll fall off, and add our manwich, and we're ready to go. Alright, so my food is on. It's been on for maybe about eight minutes. I am going to be serving this with corn and um, the manwich sandwiches. So we're ready to go. Alright, so we're back. And that thing is still going. Right? Let's bring this closer. Oh. This is fall off the bone status. Look at this. You see that? This is fall off the bone status. When you pick it up and it just falls off the bone, that's what that is right there. That's what that's considered. You understand? So what I'm going to simply do is just pick it off the bone. Move it around a couple times. And look. I moved this around like two, maybe three times. Look. There's very little meat on this bone. I could probably wipe it off. See? Fall off the bone status. This is what you want. Right here. I think it's been cooking for about two hours, uh, an hour and 50 minutes. Now, if you can wait this long, do that. But if you just come in the house, you working and all of that, um, you can do some chicken breasts. Boil the chicken breasts, crumble it up with some seasoning. Um, well, you know, in your pot while you cooking it a little something. And uh, you can make your chicken sandwich that way. But the more time you have, the more quality you'll get. See, because these are chicken thighs. I think this pot costs two or three dollars. You know what I'm saying? Maybe three fifty at the most. And it can become a hundred dollar meal. You know what I'm saying? Like this chicken cooked for hours. It was love put into it, and you're gonna be able to taste that. Now, if you don't have the time, you don't have the time. You can, like I said, boil some chicken breast, and then pick the meat off of it. Uh, as if you would do if you were making like turkey salad, I mean chicken salad or turkey salad. Put your little seasons in, throw your sandwich on, and you'd be ready to go. But you're not gonna get this, this you know, the same, the same get down right here. In the chicken broth, if you stick your finger in the chicken broth right now, this chicken juice is chicken broth. So if you stick your finger in it and taste it right now, it is filled with so much flavor. And then the fat from the, the chicken. But I'm just sitting here moving it around like all this side is done. It has no bone. While I've been talking to y'all. And I keep moving it around and picking the chicken off of it. Because it's extremely hot. And uh, put my bones to the side for my dogs. That's how we do that. Alright. So my chicken is all off the bone. And if you look down here, you'll see that uh, since I have the top off, the juice is absorbing in the chicken. It's soaking in the chicken. Right. So now what I want to do, I've turned it off, by the way. It's off. I'm going to go ahead and add a can of Manwich. Now, this is the Manwich brand. It don't matter what brand you get if you know how to season it. If you got your everything seasoning, it doesn't matter what brand you get. I'm sure. Now, we're going to give it a stir.
And what I did was I got a fork and just stirred it around. Now, if, depending on how saucy you want it, you can. I've only added one can of mayonnaise, even though I took out two. I, t I opened two. But I'm only using one because I think this is a great consistency that we have going on right here already. And it's done. It doesn't need to cook anymore. It's piping hot even though I turned it off. What I'm going to do is cover it and dinner is ready. Dinner is ready to be served. Now this is what this looks like. Right here with the ground beef. And this is what this looks like right here with the chicken. Now, I'm contemplating on whether I should add some more sauce. Now, I'm not a man which kind of girl, but I Let's go ahead and try to stir that. Okay. So look at the consistency that I got when I played with the amount of sauce that I added. So I added half of this new can. So I used a can and a half. A can and a half of um, manwich. And of course, I'm going to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle a little everything season on it. Put the top on it and it is ready to be placed on hamburger buns. Along with the corn. And I'm actually going to fast steam this zucchini. With a little bit of everything season on it. And my family is going to be ready to eat. Okay, guys, so I'm cooking some manwich. I opened two mini cans. I only need a can and a half for my manwich. What I'm going to do is put this in a freezer bag, pour it out into a freezer bag, write manwich on it, and when I make manwich again, I only have to use this half of the can and another one. Hey, okay. This is a great way to save on your open canned goods, things that you don't need right away, and you can even use this technique on some fruits and veggies. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, and leave positive comments and questions. Until next time, ahala! Oh Lord, we are truly grateful for the food before us. We can pray today the mercy shown on us in the past and grant our prayers to make our lives better and our faith and love for these strong. Amen. Alright, take her to the bathroom.
pick up one side of her cage, you pick up one side of her, and they make her disappear. Same time. Like the refrigerator open for 13 hours trying to select a water. Gotta get the, uh, gotta, you know. <laughs> no? Like that chicken sandwich? Me too. 